Okay. All right. So it's this dog and the video from yesterday. I don't know if you saw it, Lorenzo, but it was, I was talking to you, but it was a very good formula for getting this line installed. You've got to put something in front of the dog. If all you recall is just the dog at a distance or the dog not seeing anything in front of it or all these different things, it's, it's not going to work. It's, it's got to say to itself, seeing something in front equals something happening behind me. Oh, hi, Al. Oh, I don't want you to worry. I gotta go find that video from yesterday, but it was very good. I waited until Jennifer came and I just let the dog go running out there. It's, you know, if you said, well, if you make it sit and walk six feet away. Okay, so if you said, where's he going? Just go over there. Hang on. You've got to be able to use the nick to stop the dog from going farther forward if there's something in front of it. And so that's what I did. But it's a very specific formula. And that's what we need to continue working on. Not just be at the mercy of the dog. And that's what you guys were. It's, it's hard. If I didn't know how to drive a car and I just got behind the wheel and said, oh my God, the car's just getting away from me immediately. <laughs> that's what ends up happening with people, you know. So... It's it's just you guys overreacted every time it grabbed something. Big reactions. It was that became who it was. Get get reactions. Get these people dancing around by running around grabbing stuff up, and they're slow as they could be. It's it's not just you. Everybody. That's just. Do you think that these dogs think that I'm fast? Hardly. That's their last thought. Oh, <laughs> yeah, bringing me something. Okay, so. I want that to fall down now, so let me get that. He said he turned and came right back. What What made sense, Lorenzo? Oh, about the something in front of him? That's why these people can't do a recall. If he said you had to figure it out because something always appeared in front of the dog. Yeah. Right when everything was going so smoothly. Then something appeared out of the bushes, out of the out of the down the driveway. That's why I had Mandy honk the horn the other day. If there's one annoying thing that would cause someone to lose control, if they were trying to get their dogs under control because someone was coming to their house, it would be somebody in their car honking their goddamn horn. If you want to gain my anonymity, please honk your horn, pull up and start blowing your horn. Get every dog all stirred up. So, but that video, I'm going to go find it. But what I did was I let it get all the way to the gate when Jennifer pulled it. I didn't try to stop it before it got there. Go up there. Go see what it is. You know, it's not the Barnum and Bailey Circus. And I then used the Nick to get it to come back. So if you said it was standing there at the gate and it, the only choice was to come back. Yeah, it was either stand there or come back, and so the dog did come back at one, and then the second time, I let it go, but I only let it go a third of the way, and I turned it around with the nick. So, I only let it go a third of the way towards the gate. If you said, well, what about making it go all the way? Making it go all the way? <laughs> it's a beginner. It's a beginner. You know, it's a beginner. And when you start out with people whose list of things that they want it to do, are, is stop doing all these things, then 
you've got to get, get these people to have a seismic shift in the thinking. It isn't about, I'm going to stop it from doing this. I'm going to stop it from doing that. I'm going to stop it. The reason it's doing all those things is because it's, it's successful with them. That's why it's doing them. to have more bail. Uh oh, she, they all thought it was a treat. Look at her. Oh, she spit it out. Okay, if you say get into the platform. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. No, you gotta wait. You gotta do your drills. When somebody comes, go, oh, hang on, hang on, just like I did to Jen. She's been my client for 30 years, but even then, I let her come on Sunday, but I still had to work her into the drill. And I just said, hang on. And then I said, stand back from the gate. Don't have the people standing right at the gate. Stand them back far enough that the dog isn't having any luck getting to them. And it understands that coming back to you is going to be a sure thing. I got a sure thing here. I got, I don't know what's happening. And now it's starting to be, there's starting to, there's, the neck is starting to have a subliminal sort of, Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> you want his default behavior to, I, I mean, it's honestly exhausting when they lunge and scratch at you. He's absolutely perfect. Again, if you said, do dogs believe in coincidences? No. If every time something appears in front of them, again, if every time you were driving along, an elephant started to cross the road and the rhinoceros ran into the back of your car, how many times would that, if it happened twice? If that happened twice, you'd say, oh my God, look out, there's an elephant. Look behind you. Look behind you. That's not really that good of an analogy, but you know, if every time something appeared in front of you, just think of it this way, the ice cream truck appeared behind. You wait for this damn ice cream truck all day, all damn day. And then through some odd coincidence, testing, something appeared in front of you. And then right then you heard the music for the ice cream truck, but you could also hear it going the other way, and God help me. You've been waiting all damn day for this truck. Uh, so if you said, can you get him to the platform from there? Yes, with the pager watch. You're gonna be right there. You're right at his neck, watch. personal corrections is it ends up being I don't like you it's just like shoe bottom she doesn't like different ones she lives with them every day it's just well they know oh, they can't live together and not like each other yeah they can <laughs> all the damn time I tell people all the time these dogs don't like each other that's that live together that girl Anne, all three of her dogs hate each other they'd all be fine if the other one was gone Okay, if you said get him to the get him to the platform, I can bend him back that way, but I have to deliberately go that way. I gotta have a little bit of a trajectory. All right, watch. I want my default down. Just a good place to sit. Again, if you said what if you sit down with dogs that are not that don't have a default, they start doing what that dog was doing to Penrith. Jumping on you, getting in your lap, clawing, 
He said, why is he doing it right there? Because there's no room. The schloop effect. The schloop effect. He's that. stuff has to work. I mean, it can't just be no, 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 no. They're going to gravitate towards stuff that works. They're going to gravitate towards stuff that works. I don't know what else to tell people. They're not going to just... Oh, the honking. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, here's an idea. I'll, I'll make a new friend by going up in their driveway and blowing my horn. That'll endear me to the person. <laughs> uh... That was a video the other day, though. I told Mandy, I said, listen, let me just get behind the gate. I'm going to give you the signal. Honk the car horn. Better yet, yell, hey, and honk the horn. <laughs> <laughs> we said, yeah, they all took off running. You saw it. Anyway, all right. Oh, here, let's let Lorenzo come on camera. All right, hang on. No, I'll, well, let's come on to the next one. Let me put this one up. This one's getting hot. But you can see what I've got going on. He's got a lot of behaviors that he does. It's not just me saying, don't do this, don't do that. That's not, it's not going to work. It's just going to figure out ways to get around it. It thinks that it wants to do all these things. I'm not making him do anything. Not even apathy. That's beyond apathy. That's That's annoyance. I mean, that's now you're annoying. Apathy is you have no opinion. Annoyance is now you're now attacking this person. Don't ever hog your horn again. He's absolutely precious. He's got behavior. Now all the things that he's doing. He's got the same kind of noise as that other one. He's perfect about giving it to me, though. He's not trying to run away with it. It's the only way to sit there and say, don't run away with stuff, don't run away with stuff. She took it right off off my lap and handed it to me. <laughs> She's that good of a butler. Okay, I got, I'll be right back with Lisa's dog, and then I, I gotta get done early today. I worked all weekend. I trained seven days a week. Of course, I mean, that's what just gets me, that these people, you know, of all the people that don't know how to use an e-collar, they decide I'm the one, that just doesn't make any sense. If you say, well, all the other people, no one else trains live seven days a week with any kind of training, much less an e-collar. He said, well, they have other things to do. Exactly. And I don't have anything else to do but focus my attention on this training. That's the difference. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. All right, I was thinking about you today. I said, we've got to get the, we've got to get this accelerator installed on these bulldogs like I do with these so you can zip, 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 zip around. It's the only solution to the freezing. It's the only solution to getting them amped up animation level super fan when you're out. So that way, if it's they go into heightened reality, you already exist in heightened reality. If not, sheep, other animals are heightened reality. You're a tiny, tiny little stick figure in the distance making tiny sounds. Come back, come back. 